Hello. This has been me since Thursday. I'll explain. So, we have received Heartstopper Season 2. And what an emotional and happy roller coaster it has been. I've, <laughs> I've been in, I would say, not a depressing mood since last Thursday, but, um, well, you could say that, yeah. We got an incredible season two. There were loads of twists, loads of turns. We got obviously some improvised scenes that fans are just going crazy about, and so am I to be fair. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I am non stop posting about Heartstopper season two at the moment because it's all I can talk about, and it will be that case for months in the future. So, obviously, we've got our main two characters, Nick and Charlie, that are played. Nick is played by Kit Connor and uh, Charlie is played by Joe Locke. When I tell you the comparison from season one to season two is just effortless, effortlessly just amazing. I mean, we've seen that obviously in season one, Nick and Charlie's relationship was just starting to blossom. We saw at the end of season one that they had just sort of become in a relationship. They have just sort of to become boyfriend and boyfriend whereas in season two it starts off with um nick um emotionally saying to charlie in a very happy way he came out to his mum and his mum was so passionate about it and so nice about it and we go on from there for season two i would say the main storyline of season two is mainly to be there for each other but obviously there is awareness in season two. For example, uh, Nick's story in season two is him trying to come out to his loved ones and friends and him finding it incredibly hard to do that. Um, but the way Kit has played Nick in season two is just extraordinary. And I will never stop saying that Kit is an amazing actor and he's going so far in his career and he mentioned that he also wants to stick to acting in the future but also wants to be a director in the future so that'd be quite interesting to see if that does play a part of his career later on in the future as well. I've always said that Nick is my favourite character in Heartstopper just because personally for me I have a lot in common with Nick um, and really he just I mean it's for all the characters in Heartstopper they all bring the characters to life in Heartstopper but it's it's just incredible what they can do with the comics and then bring it to life at the same time Joe is incredible at playing Charlie he is absolutely amazing considering this is his first acting role so season one was his first acting role so you can still say that it is his first official job as an actor. But um, in season two, we saw that Charlie does help Nick sort of come out and he kind of explains to Nick that he doesn't have to, but he will be there for him if he wants to. Um, and we see a bit of sort of his eating disorder come out and um, we get to know the story of that. And that is where in season to episode eight we see a very very sort of gracious but um very upsetting scene from nick and charlie um or joe and kit we see them be very vulnerable to each other and nick kind of saying to charlie that he knows charlie's helped him with so much in the past few months of in heartstopper but it's now nick's turn to help him in finding out what he can do to help and I think for every sort of fan watching episode eight it, it is an emotional roller coaster because it was it was we knew the scene was coming but for me personally I thought it would have been in season three 
So to get that as the last scene in season two is just emotional and quite heartwarming at the same time because it, it means a lot with like Nick and Charlie's relationship as well. Payo and Elle, their relationship is explored a lot more in season two as well with them kind of figuring out whether they want to be together or whether they just want to stay as friends. Obviously we see in the ending of season two they do become in a relationship but Teo is still scared of what will happen when Elle goes to college or university as she's going to an art school. So I think in season three we might see a lot of their relationship blossoming and possibly maybe some arguments in there as well. Isaac. Isaac is one of my favourite characters because he is amazing in season two but also we do get a storyline with Isaac in season two as he's very much he has more lines which is very very good because I know for all the fans for season one we're kind of just going please can Isaac have more lines in season two and we did get that um Isaac kind of discovers himself in season two or is beginning to with he finds a crush in James but um, as that relationship kind of goes on, he kind of discovers that he doesn't know what he wants and he's trying to figure himself out. So hopefully in season three, we get to see that as well from Isaac. In season two, he didn't really have a lot of screen time, but we did see some changes to Harry in season two. He is still a horrible character, but we did see him kind of stick up for Nick and Charlie when they were at the Eiffel Tower and some people making fun of Charlie for his hickey on his neck. Um, overall, Harry doesn't really have a lot of lines in season two. I don't think he's in season three. Whether or not they're adding to season three, I don't know. But um, his character definitely did develop in season two, but not a lot that we saw on camera. But Ben Hope, which one character I absolutely despise. Um, I love Sebastian, who plays Ben um it has been revealed that um Sebastian will not be coming back for season three as um even though loads of scenes will be added to season three Ben is not actually in any of season three or at least the comic comic four so it will be sad to see Sebastian go but at the same time we do hate Ben Hope and his character in season two was pretty much awful he obviously started going out with Imogen but then realised he might have still had feelings for Charlie he tries to worm his way back in there but no it doesn't work and we knew it wasn't going to work he tries to get into Nick's head which obviously fans don't like and he tries to kind of get into Nick's head by saying that oh he's exactly like Ben in the way that he is messing around with Charlie which obviously is not the case and um yeah, I don't like Ben, so... <laughs> Darcy, wow. Darcy is an amazing character, and I absolutely love her in season two. We get to see a lot of her backstory as well in season two, as her mum is very, very rude and sadly very homophobic towards her. Um, we see that, obviously, Darcy doesn't tell... Her friends a lot about her mum and what she goes through or really about her family. Uh, I, I do love Darcy and I hope that that story does, unra does unravel in season three as well. Imogen. Imogen's character in season two definitely did blossom a lot in season two as she's more developing herself as a character and really she tries to stick up for Nick. Um, as he does come out to her um, in season two and she's very much like oh I sort of already knew that because it's not exactly like you're hiding it with Charlie but um, Imogen is I love her character and also just her as a character and how she plays it it's just amazing so Tara as well we see Tara in the series as well she's more involved with Nick in this season which I kind of like as well she kind of like can like helps Nick as well and she helps Charlie as well to figure out 
what she wants in her relationship and how um she can help um Darcy but um Tara is just a very loving character and she's just there for all her friends which is really nice so I hope we see more of Tara and Darcy's relationship in season three um the teachers were amazing in season two as well I love all the teachers uh, overall I would generally say that season two was better than season one as we got more of a glimpse into the characters obviously um obviously season two ended on a massive cliffhanger um where charlie nearly sends a text message to nick saying i love you we don't know if he sends it obviously until season three but alice has confirmed that um she's currently writing season three and that Hopefully we will get it next year. Overall, absolutely love season two so much. I'm still watching it on repeat, on repeat, because I absolutely love it. And really, Heartstopper is one of those series where fans can really relate to it as well. That for myself with Nick, I can kind of really relate to him in a way. But I think heartstopper just tells a story that it is it is okay to be yourself and it is okay to ask for help as most of the characters in heartstopper do deal with their own things and they deal with how to cope with their problems and how they can help each other with them which i think is incredible and so important um as well as the cast as well all of the cast are like a family as all of them have said in recent interviews um kitten Joe have explained that him him and Joe are very much like brothers and they are partners in crime and they are extremely close um in friends but um all of the cast are very very close and considering they were filming for about nine months for season two um they did kind of explain for for the end of season one they were kind of not living together but they were like having dinner dates and like having dinner parties as well and they've actually sort of said in a recent interview that they all went round Joe's house and he made dinner and they were just having a laugh and they would have like parties and stuff like that so it is amazing to see that a cast can be so close to each other and become a family but I think for fans also it's really important to like acknowledge that we kind of feel as though we're part of the family as well which is really nice um we can kind of like watch heartstopper and feel loved and feel appreciated um and feel like we've got something for ourselves just say that heartstopper in three words would be incredible loving and empowering in a way and it has very much damaged me in a way because I absolutely love the show. I love all the actors and actresses. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for season three. Um, hopefully we are getting it next year. Yeah, thank you guys for watching.